Paramount Plus has announced with Star Trek Discovery's ending of its upcoming fifth season. Additionally, the fifth and final season has been pushed to early 2024. Therefore, it will debut later than expected. It's understood that filming is mostly complete on Discovery Season 5. However, according to Variety, additional filming will occur in the coming months. Initially announced in November 2015, the series debuted in 2017 on CBS All Access, the former brand name of Paramount Plus, and will have run for five seasons, which is impressive in today's competitive streaming market. An example, the highly successful Succession series has just been announced to end of its fourth season. Series star Sonequa Martin Green shared some words about her time as Captain Michael Burnham. Additionally, series creators Alex Kurtzman and Michelle Paradise have shared their thoughts on the end of Star Trek Discovery. Leading up to her final season, Paramount Plus will honor the show's groundbreaking storytelling over its last four seasons with year long celebrations and appearances at key event markets worldwide. What these celebrations are, who knows? It's worth noting that Paramount and Repop cancelled the upcoming Star Trek Mission Seattle event earlier last year. Therefore, there is no official Star Trek event in the calendar. Likely these celebrations will take place at New York Comic Con and San Diego Comic Con, given the heavy Paramount presence there for Star Trek. We've got some details on the end of the discovery to share with you, so let's get into this. I guess we should say let's fly. Jump! <laughs> Greetings everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to Trek Central. If you need to keep up to date with all the major Star Trek news, it's a wild time right now, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get into this. I'm gonna be honest, we somewhat saw this coming for a while now. There have been movements in the background with staff members moving to other productions, and even cast moving on to new projects or being announced for new roles, which would tie them up filming wise. Therefore, many of us suspected such an announcement would be coming soon. However, we did not expect it right now. It was also reported that Paramount would be cutting back its streaming budget. They've even pulled another large show, Yellowstone, which was the head of a franchise they built out of it. Sure, it will get a spin-off, or another one, just like Star Trek has done with its franchise, but it's still a blow in terms of entertainment and ultimately revenue. Now, I'd like to take the time to point out that whether you like, dislike, or absolutely hate the idea and concept of Star Trek Discovery, stop and think. Seriously, a show ending, no matter how much you do not like it, is sometimes not a good thing. We're in the new age of Trek, so to see it somewhat decline is a little concerning. Yes, all good things must come to an end. However, we're repeatedly told that the future of Trek is good and that it is in safe hands. Then we get surprise announcements like this. Ultimately, we've had to have Star Trek Discovery to get the likes of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Let's not forget that Anson Mount starred in Season 2 of Discovery before he beamed aboard his own show with Ethan Peck and Rebecca Romain. Whether you like it or not, Discovery has done wonders for diversity and inclusivity. Yes, I'm aware parts of the internet do not like this, but tough. Sometimes we don't like things. However, how the series has handled some of this has been absolutely fantastic. Sure, some story choices along the way have been odd. As much as I love Mary Wiseman and the character of Tilly, did they really need to write to in as first officer? It undermined the bridge crew even more in my opinion. But again, that's just one example of how Discovery deviated from traditional Star Trek norms. However, there is plenty we can praise the show with, from stunning visuals to inclusion and to what is given the Star Trek universe in terms of expansion. Now, I am calling this a surprise announcement because while some knew it was coming down the pipeline, none of us expected it to be yesterday evening. It was a shock to ourselves, many online journalists, and of course the Star Trek fans, who have loved and supported the show since the beginning of it. Naturally, many of the cast have shared their thoughts online. Series lead, Sonequa Martin Green, who played Captain Michael Burnham, the character Burnham has had an exciting journey through the series of Star Trek Discovery, starting as a well respected first officer under Michelle Yeoh's Captain Philippa Jojo. Before starting a war, then slowly working her way back up to the command rank. Eventually, she ends up as captain of the US of Discovery when it's in its 32nd century. Green shared her thoughts via various media outlets and the official Star Trek announcement about Discovery Season 5. She said the following I can hardly believe this mind blowing journey with Star Trek Discovery is ending. I'm astoundingly blessed by God to have played Captain Michael Burnham and to have taken part in a legacy alongside an extraordinary cast, phenomenal crew, and a remarkable writing team. One of the most supportive partners at CBS Studios and Paramount Plus who insisted on making television history, I'm deeply grateful. I'm also deeply grateful to the creative collaboration of our showrunners, Michelle Paradise and Alex Kurtzman, as well as Otolande Asunami and the incomparable team of executive producers. Now she continued by saying, I will never forget how it felt to stand together as a show family, cradling the heirloom of Trek with all those from the franchise at large and other fans. 
fans welcomed us into their hearts as well as they launched a new iteration of Trek and an entire entertainment platform and we'll never forget it. 65 episodes later, here's to the entire company of Star Trek Discovery, to the show and its fifth and final season to its beloved fans and to all those who envision a better future. Let's fly. Those showrunners, Alex Curzon and Michelle Paradise, have reflected on the fact that Discovery is ending. It is important to note the series has seen 65 episodes with Michael Burnham and the USS Discovery. The pair reflects what most importantly, this day would always come. As lifelong fans of Star Trek, it has been an immense honour and privilege to help bring Star Trek Discovery to the world. The Trek universe means so much to many, including us, and we can be proud of everything Discovery has contributed to its legacy, particularly of representation. If just one person sees themselves or the possibilities for their future in a new way because of Discovery, then we think we've made Gene Roddenberry very proud. Of course, there will be no Discovery without Sonequa Martin-Green, and the extraordinary team of artists, both in front of and behind the camera, who have brought this show to life. Their passion and determination to make every episode special has been deeply inspiring. So too has their love and support for one another and their genuine love for Star Trek Discovery. It's truly become a family over the years and we couldn't be more grateful to be a part of it. To the fans around the world, thank you for joining us on this incredible journey they added. Your love for these characters and your excitement for every episode, every season has meant the world to us. We can't wait for you to see what we've been working on for the final season. We appreciate your patience in the meantime and trust us when we say it'll be worth the wait. We love you all, live long and prosper. So, Star Trek Discovery has brought record subscriptions for CBS All Access, or rather should I say Paramount Plus now. It also became the most original viewed series on both All Access and the successor, Paramount Plus. Additionally, the series began an expansion of the Star Trek franchise and collected numerous accolades, including Primetime Emmy Awards. While the original premise was criticised, Discovery found a new home in its 32nd century, setting with the arrival of the third season in 2020. Ultimately, it seems that the decision to end Star Trek Discovery with its upcoming fifth season lies with Paramount and not the series' creatives. As we mentioned earlier, they are on a cost-cutting regime right now. Given the rising costs around the world, making streaming series not cheap. And therefore, Paramount has also seen the effects of this. David Stapp, who is the president of CBS Studios, added this to a press release. When we first started talking about the return of Star Trek eight years ago, we never could have imagined the incredible impact Star Trek Discovery would have. The series brought back a beloved global franchise, just like its predecessors, Discovery honoured Star Trek's legacy of infinite diversity in infinite combinations, representing the best of what we could be as humans when we celebrate our differences. I'd like to thank Alex Kurtzman and Michelle Paradise, who have led the show with its heart and passion, and as fans themselves with vivid storytelling, always ready to push boundaries like those before them. And finally, I'd like to thank this talented cast, led by the brilliant Sonequa Martin-Green, whose leadership both on screen and off has helped guide us way from day one. I'm going to be honest, Paramount has made some weird decisions with the series. A prime example is the international rights debacle. This is when the studio, at the last minute, took the international streaming rights for Star Trek Discovery back from Netflix, so they could air it on Paramount+, Plus, which was not fully released internationally at the time. Yes, the streaming business is very complicated. As we're not on the inside, and neither are many other people, we do not know. However, this will likely cost Paramount a lot of money. Money that with the final season basically is being pissed away. Discovery is ending. Naturally ask, what's next? Well, Paramount Plus still has some Trek going on right now. However, with Star Trek Picard also now ending, this will leave them for only one live action show soon. Therefore, Star Trek Strange New Worlds now takes a flagship role. The franchise is supported by two animated series, Star Trek Lower Deck and Star Trek Prodigy. Additionally, it has been reported that Starfleet Academy series is in development. Do we really want an Academy series? With Picard Season 3 showing us how valuable and fun the 25th century of Star Trek is, it does beg the question of where a potential new show should take place. Sure, the 32nd century has been set up with a Starfleet Academy, but is this the era of Star Trek that fans want to spend their time in? We'll need to wait and see. Okay, that's it for our wrap on the Star Trek Discovery news for today. Season 5 will air in early 2024. Until then, we know no details about the series, apart from what we've been told already. What do you think about the cancellation news? Effectively, it is a cancellation because they're ending it. It's pretty interesting and a bit of a shock to many of us in terms of the announcement, but it was expected. Like always, if you want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media or join our community Discord server. But for now, I've been Captain Jack. Thank you very much for watching this video, and we'll see you later in the week for more Star Trek goodness. Live long and prosper, my friends. Goodbye.